The project was a quad rotor to start out in concept and it kind of morphed into a mono rotor. Uh, for simplicity reasons, we went with a counter rotating propeller mechanism. This produces zero net torque so that it maintains stability in the plane. The other key feature is to have the center of gravity stationed directly below the center of the rotation so that it's self stabilizing once it's in flight. We don't have any accelerometers or gyros on board. It's one of the things that made it a lot easier to make. We're just going to pick this up near the height that it will be at just so it doesn't move around as much. And then we have the four peripheral actuators. Um, they just spin a little bit, just enough to throw the balance off. So in flight, it would just tilt a little bit and cause it to have a horizontal component of the main thrust vector, which would cause it to move in one direction or another. The controller is made from primarily from an Arduino and a little breadboard for prototype purposes. We have two joysticks on there. Uh, the one on the left, up and down, controls the throttle, the main throttle, left and right puts an offset speed into the main propeller. It'll speed up one and then slow down another so that it creates a general torque a moment in the plane. Then it'll cause it to yaw, it'll rotate in one direction or another. And then the other one controls the four peripheral thrusters, which are on right now. You can see those guys run. The outer shroud on this was made in styrofoam. The two layers of it laminated together and then we cut the outside of it out with a fan saw. The inside all these shapes were made on the CNC. And then we have a motor mount, an aluminum motor mount in the, directly in the center. That was also made on the CNC. And then we have four aluminum bars that connect from there to the um, outer thrusters and that comprises the main structure of our vehicle. The PIC controls these two LEDs. And these are set up so that when the vehicle reaches a particular height, we have a rangefinder on here on the bottom side. Uh, when it measures a certain distance above the ground, the LEDs start flashing. Um, they're marker lights, so it goes red to green, and that indicates when you're at a particular level. These types of vehicles have what they're called ground effects, and that's where when it's flying in the vertical orientation, the air is coming down, and then it will splash against the ground. And it'll come back around kind of a toroidal sort of motion, and it makes so the velocity of the air coming into the propellers is above zero. It means that you have to have the propellers on at higher speed. It's less efficient to operate in that region. So the indicators show you when you're above that level. It's more efficient. It's easier to fly. So right now it's on the ground and the LEDs are off. And then as it comes up, it senses a particular height and the LEDs start flashing. I don't know if you can see that. But they're flashing here. But if I move my hand to mimic the ground, you'll see them turn off. And then we'll turn on. Okay, I'm going to push the left joystick. It makes a beep, and that lets you know that you're entering into auto mode. It has the rangefinder on there, which is also being fed into the Arduino. And then it compares, when you push the button, it stores a value at the particular height that you're at. And then it goes and it continuously measures the value, and then it compares the two, and so it keeps it at constant elevation.